something you want that is God when it's the devil. Amen. Because there's one thing you forgot about your spiritual walk. He's not a man by the Spirit with a capital S. The Holy Spirit is the Son of God. Not by the Spirit with a small S that could it be a demon or a devil. Knowing your needs and knowing your lusts and knowing your enticements. Yeah. He know you. He been ready. He been around you since you was born. He know what you like. He know what color you like. He know what kind of everything you like. What kind of man you like. He know everything you like. Uh-huh. He got a portfolio just on you. Yeah. 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 He not a He built this by hanging around you. Got demons inside of you that's been with you since birth. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. They tried to kill you, but God wouldn't let them. They tried to take you out, but God wouldn't let them. You did everything the devil wanted you to do, but God still saved you. Still delivered you. They set you through. God didn't take you through. You were led by demonic forces of the world. Of darkness. You were a child of disobedience. And you did what you want, when you want to do it, how you want to do it. And about God will tell you what I'm chasing you. Everywhere, but he's not in everything. 
saved. You still struggle with your family members after seeing God bring you out the streets. Seeing God bring you out the situation, certain day, whatever you was in. Bring you out of bad relationships. The actually you sit stable and they still ain't got saved. Yes. In the presence of the Lord. Yes. 
you people like people yes, that believe like me, yes, that think yes, like me. Yes, God. Yes, God. Don't care to see that. They don't believe you. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, glory. Glory to God. Y'all ain't saying much. Amen. Yeah, you know I'm telling you what you're doing. With. You think these people, you try to prove something to blind people, they can't see, and you be taking stuff trying to talk to them. Look at this, look at this. They can't see that. They don't see God. Jesus. But if you preach that gospel yeah. about Jesus Christ yeah. and tell them to repent yeah. and receive Jesus, you'll say, yeah. And if God is true at that time, yeah. the skills are falling behind. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll fall on their knees and they repent the call. Oh, and get it back to Jesus. Oh, How many people that you met come out? Oh, he did for you and do me a couple of They ain't so they see you. They ain't really see you, God. They see your stuff. Come on. You mean to tell me that you see where God has brought you from? And see where I'm at. And looking at me. Did you got the eyes on that stuff that you can't see the supernatural God? Mm, 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 mm. Did you want to come and get saved? Thank you, Jesus. There's nothing that people fool you. But when they see God, they like, don't see that. They rhyme, they can't see. They see that stuff, and that will happen. As soon as you pull away, they can't see no more. Stop trying to get me to preach the gospel. Tell me you need to get the life right with God. Tell me you need to come because it is a hell and it is a hell. Amen. Amen. You better stop believing in God because right here all this stuff happening. You ain't running to Jesus. All this thing happening. You ain't got your life right. Come on, come back. Come on, come on. You ain't got saved. Oh, I got to 
Ik ga snel lekker spelen. Ik ga snel lekker You don't see God when the things are going great. Hallelujah. You 
to see what God done done. You ain't been in church for three weeks. Now each is all because God bless each other differently and everybody have a different call and a purpose. That means you all jobs. If God had you on a job, then you gotta know God got you that job, so you're gonna miss the church because God got you there. And you're a witness for God, you're a light for God. Oh my God, you praising God, you worshiping God, you are the light when you're around me happy because you're praising God, lifting God up. When you're around me, see hope. When you're around me, see hope. There's something when you can be around and can't nobody see no hope. I hope the people see hope in Jesus. Yeah. If he did for them, he'll do it for me. Amen. Where did you get that joy from? Because you were on the same dog with these people quicker than the quicker than the day. And you right there smiling to my hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. God is good. Where you get that joy from? The world didn't give it in the world. Amen. 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 Y'all come on here. Y'all come on here. Oh, you will be alive. He said, look here, you wouldn't be able to do that unless my father met you. He said, because if it wasn't the will of my father, I'd pray my angels down here and beat you down like a fool. Put you in the figure of whatever fool that's at the same time. It's a reason why I'm here. It's a reason why I'm on this job. There's a reason why I'm in the position I am. Yeah. To preach the gospel. Yes. To let you see Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I have a two-purpose, I have a two-purpose job. I have a proper job, I have a purpose to fulfill that the job, do the job that people need to do. But the second the first job I have is to preach the gospel. Is to represent Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's my first purpose. On any job. To be a light. Yeah. That people that's lost can see Jesus. Yes. Yeah. And when I get an opportunity, I tell them about repent. Yeah. Get right with God. Yes, yes. And sometimes I get a right to tell them, stop being a hypocrite. Because yeah. you be cussing sometimes when you say, but you know, God said, don't let the physical communication come out your mouth. Yeah. And sometimes you might need to get delivered. Because he passed right here, get it, aren't you? Because yeah. one thing you got to come out you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all come out. Now, you got to be praying to God to get the curse. It's out of it now. Don't let it go back here. Don't need hell in back. <laughs> Go to give God praise that I've been the middle. How you gonna be delivered just go back? Did you see it come out? Did you hear it? <laughs> it's gone. So next time they come out be done with good stuff. Amen. Hey, no, no. Amen. I'm trying to prove man, you're saying you're supposed to preach the gospel. You ain't gonna say no people about getting stuff. Where did you see God when I get this five bed room? We need to see God when I ride up in that new, that new, with that new payment. <laughs> the devil blind you when you think you're doing God's work and you're doing the devil's work. Yeah. It's a sanctification got to go on. You got to be sanctified, separated from the world. He said, I will not take them out the world, but I'll leave them in the world. Yes. But they're not of the world. Yes. Amen. We don't care about the world. We ain't blessed unless we the root to the dollar. He gave us a little pill to make us out. Jesus. <laughs> Woo, we're going to have a good time in church tonight. Hallelujah. I'm going to give us a little stone. I'm going to pop on the top of it. That ain't gonna hurt me tonight. Glory. Look at how long they stand. I'll be right there with them. Y'all ready? Oh, that's good. 
before you go to church? I know we're going to be in there a while. And I'm going to take this medication right now. I know I'm supposed to take it to 10, to, 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 to 1, but we ain't going to be in church. I'm going to go and pop it right now. And it do make me feel kind of good. Maybe a little silly, but I'll be all right. My medication kicked in. This ain't real, man. I mean, it's real. Man, the God of this world is not moving or trick people of God. Do we try to prove something to blind people? You're crazy. You're a lost your God thing in mind. They can't see you. Look at man. You was the lowest on the tone of hope. You were down in the dump. You was nothing. They forgot your name. Your name even stopped coming up. God will raise you up. No brought you out. And they still can't see God. Jesus. God is mine, man. Jesus. You don't have a heartbreak, sister. You would battle now. God will cause you to recover. And they still get to you. Yeah. You've been through traumas in your life. They've seen you about to go crazy. Yeah. But they see that you're in God and you're loving on God. They can't see. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop trying to prove something about me. The God of the world will not have And you ought to be preaching the gospel so you can see. You ought to be worried about their soul. Because I know you can't see what God has done with you blind. You can't see if you can be saved. You need Jesus in your life. You still cussing me. I know that I'm a man of God. Know that I belong to God and you still treat me like I'm nothing. You need to be saved. So you can see who I really am. You can't see me. You can't see Jesus in me when I know. Because you still talk to me like I'm nothing. And when God said, don't touch the least of them. I might not be all that, but I'm still one of you. So some of the people they go to church, better check and see, make sure they got believers. But they never blind them too. Amen. Man, glory to God. Oh, y'all looking like that. But there you go, you got the bread now.
I can throw the devil in a little bit of another spirit. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that in another spirit. Jesus. You don't want to put it like that because that means you want to stop drinking. Mm. It's all right to have a little spirit with my devil. <laughs> As long as I don't get drunk. I can have some spirit. You always have. That's what you be saying. I can have some spirit. I can't go drink with you. Too bad you come out of that neck. Oh, you 
drink. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, man. Stop proving the world. Say the word. Say I'm not of the word. I'm just in the world. word. Separate yourself. Sanctify yourself. You got to become sanctified again. Because you don't think they're unsanctified. It's time to be sanctified. You got to wonder why things get on you because you're not sanctified. Whatever happened in the world got to happen to you because you're connected to the world. If you were sanctified, separated, it couldn't get you. But you became so unsanctified that now whatever happened in your community happened to you. Because you want to do everything they want to do. Ain't nothing wrong with getting a little, you know, getting a little going on, a little love music, you know, being a girl out, a little love music, you know, ain't nothing wrong with a little teddy every now and then, you know, so we can get our groom on, you know, so we won't know how old we are. Okay. So you still need the things of the world to rile your flesh. Because you have no discipline of yourself. So you don't want to discipline yourself. So you want to go back in the world and use so many tools. And still call yourself sanctified. But when it comes to certain things, you're not sanctified. Ain't no wrong with that. You sure ain't no wrong with it? So you still dealing with demons? So you still dealing with problems in your life that cause about to be You sure ain't no wrong with it? How are these spirits getting in my house? They get in my house all the There must be some things in my life that's, that's cursed. That I enjoy. And I don't want to let it go. But every time I'm trying to get ahead, and every time I want to soothe myself and feel good, I got to put on some bad breath. It smooths me, but it don't stop the problem from happening. I still feel like I'm not loved. I'm still feeling like I'm not fulfilled. I'm still feeling like I'm lonely. Even after I listen to that, it brings tears to my eyes. So instead of confident myself, I invite spirits in from the world because I open the door. Because instead of using godly principles and godly things, I use worldly things. Right. <clears throat> Ain't no wrong with a jazz club. Feels the only kind of jazz you got. They got Christian Christian here in a jazz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no wrong with a jazz club. They got Christian jazz. Mm -hmm. Why you listen to Christian jazz? Mm -hmm. Because you open doors to demons and spirits to still link around in your life because you're still connected to the world. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't, ain't, you, you tell me, you look at your life, get something wrong with it? Mm. Why are you still wrestling with things that God has already promised you? It's already yours. What's in your life cursed? Because the thing that works cursed. Amen. <coughs> Instead of you sanctifying yourself and coming all the way out of it, you're holding on to some cursed things. Yeah. I know, 